Hey guys, how we doing? Yeah, this um, video I'm going to do today is actually going to be a unboxing video. And as you can see, I've cheated again. But one of my friends, Corey, sent this package to me. So let's see what's inside. There we go. Okay, we got two fragrances, looks like. First fragrance... We have, how about that? This is one I've had a million requests for. This is Terre de Hermes right here. Actually kind of very cool with the cap. You can see how that moves up and down to let you access the sprayer. But it's like we have the 1.7 ounce there. That's a really nice bottle, by the way. Okay, and the second fragrance we have. Looks like we have the original Tom Ford for men. But let's get to the initial impressions for these fragrances. Okay, actually, we'll do the Tom Ford for men first. This one, I'm just going to smell the inside of the cap just to get a decent impression of it. Okay? Oh, that's actually not bad. It's kind of a... A fresh fragrance with a little bit of spiciness to it. Almost like a fruity. Like a fruity, a fruity, fresh, spicy fragrance. I want to say cinnamon. Some kind of fruit. I'm not sure. I can't put my finger on what kind of fruit I smell. Huh. It's not too shabby. Tom Ford for men. And how about that bottle? Look at that, it's got lines all over it. Really detailed bottle by Tom Ford. Alright, now time to the one I've had about a million requests on, and that is uh, Terre de Armes right here. So let me just take a little bit of a spray. I'll spray it right on the back of my hand. I'll give it a second. Oh, it can smell it from here. Whew! Oh yeah, guys, um, now that it's starting to become green outside, I'm actually going to be coming out with that Top Spring Fragrances video soon. I'm pretty sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it a Top 5, not a Top 10. Maybe a Top 5 with one or two honorable mentions. I don't know, Top 10 videos, they tend to take a really long time to do. And I can't really go into quite as much detail for the fragrances as I normally want to. But we'll go into a little bit more of the bottle right there. Man, that is nice. Woo! Very cool bottle and engraved Ermes at the top. Okay. Just kind of put it up right there. All right, let's see what we got, guys. Definitely a super fresh fragrance. I almost want to say grapefruit. It's like almost... Almost smells a little bit like, not really a clean grapefruit fragrance, but almost like a peppery. A peppery grapefruit. Well, I can say I haven't really smelled a peppery grapefruit before. But again, this is just an initial impressions video. This one has actually gotten a lot of hype. I've had people asking me to review this for quite a while, so I'm definitely glad I'm going to be able to review, review it. I hear it's a great all-season fragrance. Yeah, kind of a peppery grapefruit. It's kind of something I think would feel for an older crowd, though. Oh, but to address some of the rumors, I've uh, I've got a few messages saying that um, some people have contacted, some of my subscribers actually contacted Terry Mugley about that Pure Malt released September 2010. And I've had a few emails saying where they said that Terry Mugley had no chance that they were going to do that. But I was talking to my buddy uh, Gerard again, and uh, he definitely, he showed me the email. They definitely sent that email saying that they were going to re-release it in 2010. I don't know if it's a marketing ploy. It might be, but I'm hearing different things from all over the place. So right now, I honestly don't know if Terry Mugley's Pure Malt is coming back in September 2010. Although, I don't know. I know um, I was talking about it with Gerard. And he said um, that 
a lot of fragrance companies are actually starting to do that now. Uh, Dior's done it a few times. I heard they discontinued um, uh, Fahrenheit 32 to reformulate it and come out with it again and whatnot. So we're just going to have to wait out to see if those rumors that um, Terry Mugler's Pure Malt is going to come back in September 2010 are true. But I've been hearing different things from all over the place just to kind of address, address the rumors we had over there. Yeah. It's almost a little bit woody, too. I'm, this is the Terre de Hermes I'm talking about. But yeah, guys, um, yeah, definitely. Um, always rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of Terre de Hermes or Tom Ford's Four Men. And I think this is the original. I believe they have an Extreme Edition, too. But yeah, definitely let me know that in the comments below. And yeah, I should be coming out with another review really soon. All right, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.